Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tag and this video will write a Python program to just display the calendar, alright. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to take the input from the user like of which month and year uh, the user wants to view the calendar and depending upon that user input we will give the result uh, uh, accordingly. So we will just come up over here and you can see uh, this is our problem statement, alright, that is print the calendar of a given month and year. So basically what uh, in order to just cope up with this thing so uh, Python comes with a module uh, named as calendar and we need to import that module into our uh, Python alright. So the first step over here is we are going to import that module so I am just going to say import and it will be calendar okay. So this is the inbuilt module uh, in Python uh, with the name calendar which just uh, helps us to just view the months and the uh, year uh, the calendar of the respective month and the year all right and uh, the next step over here is now we want to get the input from the user like of which month or the year the user wants to view the calendar all right so the first step of uh, the, the the next step over here is we are going to ask the user for the uh, respective year all right so i'm just going to say year is equal to and i will just say uh, input and enter the year all right and uh, i just want to tell my python that this particular value is a uh, integer value so i will just do the type conversion over here so that i don't face any uh, error after uh, running my code all right so first i have asked uh, the user the year so user will enter the year and depending upon the year uh, we even want one more input like of which month uh, the user wants to view the calendar all right so i'm just going to say month and over here I am just going to ask uh, uh, say that uh, enter the month all right and once again we will do the type conversion over here because this particular value is also an integer value. Once we have this uh, two uh, input with us that is a year and month okay. Now the next step is to, to uh, make use of the calendar module and uh, inside this calendar module we have one method that is. Uh, month all right and we are going to make use of that so what i'm basically going to do is i'm just going to say calendar dot month okay and inside this what i have to give the uh, uh the arguments over here is the first argument is nothing but it is the year all right so you are supposed to give the year the second one is the month okay so you have uh, given the year now you need to give the month like which month you want to uh, just view the calendar of and the next arguments over here you can see is the width and length and by default it is set to zero all right so width is nothing but it is the date uh, width of the date column all right length is nothing but it is the distance between the two weeks okay so the line space between the two weeks all right so by default it is zeros and they are optional all right so but uh, you can just give the uh, uh, respective values if you just want over here so now I'm just going to say that uh, the first one is the year. So it it is under my year, all right, because I'm taking input from the user. So I'm just taking that year. The next one is my month. So I'm taking that month, all right. And the next one was width and uh, length. So by default, it is zero and this length is also zero. So you can just uh, skip this thing, okay, because uh, by if you just don't write this thing, so by default, this will be considered, the zero value will be considered. But if you just want to do that uh, required uh, modification as per your need, so you can just uh, change up the values over here. So as for now, I will just keep it zero so that you guys understand like this all arguments you can pass over here. I will just put this inside a variable name, all right. So I have done this thing and I will just say that print x. That's it. So I'm just going to run this thing now. So if I just run this, it asks me that enter the year. So I will just say 2021. It tells me like uh, enter the month so if I just enter the second one okay and you can see that we have got the result okay so it says that uh, this is the calendar for the uh, month 2 that is uh, February and you can see that we have got this calendar over here which is of year 2021 that's it so this is how it works now as I said this width and length uh, to you guys so this width is nothing but you can see that it is the uh, distance between this uh, uh, column date column okay so I am just going to make this two so that you guys uh, know that what uh, the difference is going to happen if I just uh, once again I run this thing and I say two 
So, you can see that the spacing between this has uh, increased, okay. So, it is nothing but the date column, okay. And if I just uh, make this uh, length as 2, so this is nothing but this is the distance between this, uh, the, uh, the line space between these two weeks, okay. So, this is my first week and this is my second week. So, here the spacing will uh, uh, increase. If I just say 2021 and if I say January, okay, first month, so you can see that this is the uh, line space between the two weeks okay so this is how you can just modify this thing and if i just remove this thing so it will uh, consider by default width will be zero and length will be zero okay fine so this is uh, and here you can even display the uh, statement that uh, the respective year and month is all right and just give it a comma over here and if i just run over here it asks me for the year so i'm just going to say this and if i just say one so you are seeing that we are getting this thing so it says that the calendar of the respective year and the month is january 2021 and this is the calendar all right so you can even display the test over here okay so this was about how you can just uh, print the calendar for the given uh, uh, month and year okay and what if you just want to uh, get the calendar for the entire year okay so say for example 2021 is the uh, current year going on and you want to get the whole cal uh, calendar for that purpose so for that purpose we are going to just i'm, I'm just going to come up over years so, and this is my uh, uh, i'm just going to write the python program for printing the calendar for a particular year so, so what I can simply do over here is first I will just import the calendar over here. So I'm just going to say import calendar. Okay. Once I'm done with this and now I want to uh, get the year from the user. So I'm simply going to say input and I will just say enter the year. Fine. And I will just do the type conversion over here. So it will be my int. And over here, the next step over here is inside my calendar module, I have one method that is calendar. So, I'm just going to use that thing. So, I'm just going to say calendar dot calendar. Okay. And inside this, what arguments I need to pass over here is you can see over here. So, the first argument is nothing but it is the year. All right. So, you, you need to pass here the year. Then we have the width and length. Okay. The same uh, thing that we had in case of our month method. Okay. Inside our calendar module. So, this uh, width and uh, length over here, you can see that the uh, default value over here is of width is 2 and the length is 1, all right. The next over here, we have this two more arguments over here. So, this C, okay, so the, this is nothing but it is a distance between the two months, okay. So, if it is January and February, so the distance between that two months, all right. So, by default, it is 6. And this last one, you can see that m is equal to 3. This is nothing but this says that in a particular row, how many months you want to get displayed. So, say in a row, you want 3 or 4 or 5. So, depending upon that. So, by default, this value is 3 over here. So, as for now, I will just keep this all values as default, all right. And over here, I'm just going to pass the year. And that uh, the year we have stored inside our year uh, variable, okay. And what we are going to do is simply we are going to print this thing. So, I will just put this inside a variable name x. And I will just say print x. All right. And this will just give me the entire uh, uh, the calendar for a respective year. So, if I say 2021. And you can see that we got the entire calendar over here. Fine. So, this is my entire calendar. Okay. So, it says 2021 in January, February, March and so on. And you can just change up like if you in a row you want say for example two more I want here two so one two three four five so I just I can just say that inside this w is equal to five okay and if I just print this once again and if I just say 2021 and you can see that now I have got and what if I just want more um, here five okay so for that I can just come up over here and I can just say that uh, m is equal to five all right. And if I just run this thing once again, so I, if I give the year, so you can see that uh, I have got uh, five months in a row. That is one, two, three, four, five. So this is how you can just uh, uh, get the calendar for a respective year. All right. So we have seen two things over here that uh, 
uh, by making use of this calendar uh, module okay we can just uh, uh, print the entire calendar for a respective year or you can even print a single month all right for a respective uh, year and the month like we uh, we even saw in the first program like the, uh, we have taken the input uh, as year and month and we just display it like uh, the calendar for that respective month of that uh, particular year all right so if you just like this video so do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching